Pastor Richard here. I'm glad that you're rejoining us. You know, in our playroom at my house, my wife has hung this pillow that's embroidered with the saying, together is a great place to be. And I got to thinking about that in light of our isolation period that we're going through right now. And like Dr. Phil, I'm wondering, how's that working out for you? I mean, we can't be together with our workmates or schoolmates or our friends, but we can and are together with those who are in our immediate household, whether that's our spouse or children or whomever. This is a good time for us to be able to do that because we can deepen our relationship with those who are closest to us. Now, I know that some of you live alone, and so you're trying to maintain your connection with your loved ones, maybe by telephone, maybe by video chat, or by some other means. Now, I've told you this before, that God has given us a finite amount of time on this earth, and he certainly wants us to use it wisely, not, you know, just watching some kind of mindless TV show or, or playing video games, but cultivating relationships that will last forever. And that includes our relationship with him, getting more into his holy word, spending more time talking with him one-on-one, -on -one, watching church services, going through Bible studies on TV or on the internet or something like that. We know the excuses that we had before this virus hit. And that excuse was that we're too busy too busy working or too busy studying or too busy with other social gatherings, all those other together uh, events that we had before this. Well, we don't have that excuse anymore, at least for the time being. And you know what? I think that's by God's design. I believe that God would want us to use this downtime to be uplifting, to build immediate family relationships but also to build our relationship with him. We here at Epiphany want to help you. We are sending out Bible studies. We are sending out services. We are sending out scripture moments. We are sending out thought-provoking ideas and moments. We are sending out encouraging words for you. Because you know what? You are our family too. Even if we can't be together in this room, we are together as the body of Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. There have been plenty of great ideas that have been given to us as to how we can enhance this virtual relationships that we're in right now. And we'll be trying out some of those ideas to implement them as the weeks go on. Please know that we care about all of you and that if there is any way that we can help you through this unprecedented time of isolation and sometimes loneliness. Please let us know. But for now, I'm going to get back to learning how to play this piano.